Howdy YouTube, this is Steven, and I'm back with another news article analysis. And again, um, I found this particular news article while browsing around on the internet, and I thought I would share it with you guys. This one is especially for the Joel and Sai fans. The title of this article is Joel and Sai's Father Entrusts Her Assets to Bank. Semicolon. Or semi. Yeah, semicolon. All right, semicolon worried about status gap between daughter and Vivian Dawson. And this article is by Cleo Bagella. Um, it was published in November 2014 on the website uh, chinatopic.com. And that is topic spelled with a X instead of a C. <clears throat> So yeah, I was like, oh wow, um, this is interesting. This article sounds interesting from the title. So here we are. And here we go. All right, Taiwanese Mandel Pop Diva, Jonas Sai's father, allegedly entrusted her assets into a bank, worrying that his daughter's boyfriend, New Zealand-born model Vivian Dawson, is still incompatible with her status. So basically, um, Jonas Sai's father is worried that, you know, Vivian don't have no money, so he's going to try to take Jolene side money. So he put her money away in the bank, you know, to safeguard it from, you know, Jolene, um, to safeguard it from Vivian Dawson, um, potential gold diggery, if you will. <clears throat> According to Taiwanese media reports, Jolene's father has been worrying about the difference of her status with Dawson, especially because rumors that the singer would be getting married to her model Bo soon. Okay, so again, the dad is worried that Joel inside is possibly going to be marrying this dude, and then he going to be gold digging her money and taking her money, you know. And Joel inside has worked so hard, and her parents are probably putting in work too, you know, that they like, hey, we don't want to see Joel inside's money get taken away by some, you know, some random dude, yeah. Jolene's father allegedly expressed that she might end up getting a divorce with Dawson because of their, you know, their gap, you know, status gap, or, you know, wealth gap, whatever you want to call it, if they so decide to get married. Hmm. That could be a possibility. But I heard, you know, that Jolene's side ain't thinking about marriage, and then I also heard that Jolene or someone said, reported that Jolene said that she would only get married if she was pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. All right. But next, due to this, the 34-year-old diva's father is said to have entrusted her assets, which allegedly, which allegedly amounts to around um, NT um, $2 billion dollars. Um, I guess that's like Taiwanese um, currency, perhaps. Um, but they also give the U.S. equivalent. And the U.S. equivalent to that is um, 84.4 million U.S. dollars to a bank as a sign of precaution. So her father entrusted that amount of money to a bank, you know, because he doesn't want to see Jolene lose that amount of money, you know. And it may come off as if her father is like really just money. But like it ain't ultimately it's nothing wrong with that, with being precautious like that. Because you know, Jolene Sai has worked really hard for that, you know? And her parents have put in work too. So they're just safeguarding their investment as far as the parents are concerned and safeguarding Jolene's money. Next, in the past, when Jolin, well, in the past, when Jolin's relationship with Dawson or Vivian was first introduced or surfaced or whatever, the public has noted their huge gap when it came to their status in the entertainment industry. While the female recording artist already made it big in the music industry, and has even dated Taiwanese superstar Jay Chow. In the past, Vivian has only been starting with his career as a model. 
So Joel inside, she's like really accomplished in her career, but Vivian on the other hand, he's just starting his career. So I wonder what drew them together. You know, how did they meet each other? You know, but either way it go, like Vivian winning in this relationship though. So even if this relationship, even if he doesn't get a cent out of this relationship as far as money, he will have gotten the publicity and people will be checking for him, you know, because of being associated with Joel and Sai. You know. So next, according to the media or according to media outlets, Vivian has been taking projects recently, particularly that of Tiny Times 3, which has caused him to gain both popularity and status in the entertainment industry to match that of Jolyn's. But it is said that Jolyn's father is still worrying about his daughter's future with the model, thus his decision to secure the singer's assets. I feel like you can't obtain the status that Jolyn's side has overnight, you know? That takes years and years of hard work and dedication and um, good work ethic, you know? delivering good music and you know delivering good product like whatever you do doing it really well for a consistent amount of time so next when asked to react about the matter Jolin's manager denied the claim insisting that nothing of the sort has happened furthermore Jolin expressed in the past that she trusts in Vivian completely well, I hope not. Um, I hope she does not. You know, that trust needs to be earned, you know, um, and completely. Like, when did you meet this dude? I guess they've been dating for a while, but still. Um, yeah, that sounds a little odd. But, I mean, who trusts someone completely, you know, that you don't know? But for a couple of years, I, I don't know. I think she just put that out there just to hush down the rumors or whatever. Let's see. Next. On the other hand, the Taiwanese female superstar has just released her new album and has had a collaboration with Karina Lau on her new music video. Has collaborated with Japanese recording artist Namie Amuro for the music video for her song, I'm Not Yours. And that's the end of the article. And I think, I think JoLynn, you know, she can have fun with this relationship. But that wealth gap and status gap, you kind of need to take that into consideration. Because that could cause some issues within the relationship, you know. Because one, like, usually the guy is supposed to be like the provider and have all the money and even get to an extent even get the accolades and attention but you know Joel and Sai is getting it so that might make him feel a certain way that he might start to act out in certain ways you know like being aggressive or going outside a relationship and cheating on her um you know just several things that could happen so but Joel Sai has said that she's not interested in marriage at this time so you know it seems like she is just kind of just you know having fun with this relationship you know I'm sure he you know is able to offer her other things besides money you know since Joel Sai already has money of her own anyway it's like and eh, whatever you know she just probably want to have some fun you know <clears throat> so, you know, you have fun and do you, Jojo. You know, you do you. You know, just be, you know, a little cautious. You know, don't get knocked up. You know, and, you know, do you have fun? Um, but I think I said all I have to say for the time being. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next news article analysis. Adios and goodbye for now.